To the far west of the country, there's a very important group of wild animals that need Gladys's attention. This is the impenetrable forest, home to one of the most endangered animals in the world, the mountain gorilla. There are only 650 of them left, and half live here. Gorillas are my favorite animal, and it's a big plus being the vet officer for you, Uganda Wildlife Authority, that I get to treat the mountain gorilla on top of all the other animals. It's a big responsibility protecting these rare primates. So every month, Gladys makes this 14-hour drive to the forest to check on how they're doing. Her first call is to a group of gorillas that are the biggest tourist attraction in the country. In fact, the money they bring in pays most of Gladys's wages. But they are very susceptible to diseases caught from humans. So their interaction with tourists must be carefully controlled. The one coming down is female. The truck, I think she's pregnant. <laughs> A female. I would be blamed if one of the gorillas died. So I've really got to make sure that we've been looking after them properly. And that's why I'm trying my best to monitor their health so that it doesn't get too bad. You get to the gorilla when you can't do anything for it. Whenever a gorilla dies, I've got to do a thorough post-mortem and find out exactly why it died. Oh, that's the youngest baby, less than a year old. It's a silverback. So I spend all their time eating and resting and walking. So if I get to a group and a gorilla's not eating, you watch him and within 10 minutes he's not eating and you start to worry, he's just sitting there. You know that he's sick, he's got some infection or something, something's stopping him from eating. And they also like farting. Oh. Bob. He likes frightening tourists.